the casualty marketplace has really done its job the last two years. We've had just umbrella alone, you know, perhaps 25 new entrants, whether these are insurance carriers, MGUs, delegated authority. Um, often these are underwriting facilities that have opened up a new umbrella unit, use, utilizing a hybrid fronting mechanism in the reinsurance marketplace. So the ENS market has really done its job. We've got a whole bunch of new capacity in the umbrella space, also in the primary space. And then when you take to certain areas like long haul trucking, we've got several new entrants there, typically managing the limits at 2 million. So the market, the, the casualty markets responded particularly on umbrella by focusing on the lead umbrella, looking at perhaps a short limit, a 5 million limit, so managing the limit. And then what we're starting to see now is excess of 10 million, you're seeing carriers putting up 10 mil, potentially 15 million. So it's a much better marketplace than it was a year ago. But I think just looking around at the different um, industry classes, you know, whether it be professional liability, property, they all seem to take the term in the marketplace, you know, as a raging hard market for, you know, DNO, public company DNO. So we've stabilized in casualty, but also the court system has been closed for the last 18 months during COVID. So I expect that to accelerate over the next year. So we're going to still see rate increases, but it's a much more orderly renewal season in the reinsurance world in London. So very much today you're coming to a wholesaler, you know, for, for really two things, market access, but also industry specialization. And it's really the specialization that I think the wholesale world has developed tremendously, you know, over the, um, over the last 10 years. So the, so the world has changed. But, you know, definitely, as I, as I said before, the casualty world has, has done a great job of developing new capacity over the last two years. But I think we all have to be careful about, you know, the loss costs prior to 2019, they may not be funded adequately. So we could well be in another wave of um, affirming of prices. So I think incumbents really want to manage the pricing on renewals, but there are new carriers out there. So it is potential to see um, rate reductions in some more standard type business. But typically we're seeing rate increases and I would expect that to continue this year.